So my name's Lawrence Caruana from the Health and Beauty Hub. I've been in this business now probably for about 13 years. So what I'll do is give you a little bit of background on me. If you want to actually listen or see my story, I'm actually sharing it on Facebook at the moment. So I think I've got a very interesting story. So I started life as an electrician, right? W working as a con with for a contractor initially, then FNQEB, which is now Ergon Energy, right? And this is in the Innisfail, Cairns area and got married when I was 20, right? So I met, met up with my friend, the girl, in a year younger at when I was 18. I got engaged when I was 19. I got married when I was 20. I had Daniel Caruana when I was 22. <laughs> right? We lived in Cairns and I could see that we were struggling financially, so I was looking for opportunity, so I'm a bit of an entrepreneur. I moved out to Normanton, right? Worked at the power station there. And then I moved to Bamiga, the tip of Cape York. So if you ever want to go to the tip of Cape York, let me know because I lived up that area for five years. Right then, I was asked to go over to Thursday Island and work at the power station there. And then after three years, um, the kids were getting into school age. I came back, to Ken uh, at, at back actually to Atherton and I was a technical person. Basically, they gave me the job to look at the call outs and identify what the problem was, then solve the problem. Right, and during that time I start, started studying environmental engineering. Right, and so I worked in, in Atherton for seven years. Then I worked in, I got a promotion, worked in Cairns for five years as a senior contracts manager. So I was managing Ergon Energy's contracts. Right, and then I got a promotion, I was managing the whole of Ergon Energy's vegetation management, which I specialise in. All right, so that's my background. After 25 years working for Ergon Energy, I left them to become a consultant. I worked three years as a consultant and then I thought, no, this is really tough work. A couple of nervous breakdowns in there with overstress, not sleeping. And I said, no, nah, I'm over this, working for somebody else. I want to start my own business. So I started a promotional product business similar to Katie's, right, back in the beginning of the GFC. And I was just telling Mana that it took me two and a half years to break even with that business. So I was out networking all the time and I had a lot of spare time and I was introduced to a machine that irons wrinkles off your face, right? And I laughed at the woman. I said, that's bullshit. That doesn't work. <laughs> and she come and did a half-face half face demonstration on me and it worked. And I go, wow, that's, that's amazing. And she asked me if I wanted to share this. I said, yeah, sure. I'm out talking to people all the time. And in that business, which is new skin, right? Um, probably three months into it, I was earning two grand or more, right? So that supported me until I got the printing business up and running. About three years, the printing business went through the roof. I started employing staff and it was huge, right? And I looked at the, the figures and I was actually financially going backwards, right? Because I had a lot of overhead. So I had to go bigger or go smaller. I decided to go smaller and focus more on Uskin, right? And why I'm doing Uskin, I'm passionate about helping people age better, prevent chronic disease, and manage their stress levels. Right, just recently, I've, I've got a talk in Maribara Saturday, and one of the ladies that was going has committed suicide. She's 39, got five kids. Right, that just absolutely destroys me. If I would have caught up with her probably a month before, I probably could have helped her. Right, so that's my passion. Right, New Skin, they've got amazing products, that I can help with um, the, the things. So, I've, look, I've given you a sheet, right, and with that is a gift card. So at the end of this, they draw out the drawer and somebody gets a, a, a present. So today, you're all getting it, right? If you're not going to use it, give it to somebody else. So basically, what I'm doing is paying whoever $50 to come and have a chat with me Right, so I can change their life so they can prevent chronic disease or depression. Basically, that's it. Right, I'm, I've got electrical licence. I've got a, a degree in environmental management. I've got no qualifications in beauty or health. Right, but I do work with a lot of naturopaths, massage therapists, dietitians. Right, the natural side. What really pisses me, and I'll tell you a couple of stories. So my mother, she had breast cancer when she was 60, 61. I'm 61 now, right? And so it was only small. They took it out, surgery. She had a bit of radium, and then they gave her medication 
to prevent it coming back. She died at 65 from a side effect of the medication. So if I would have been in new skin before that, I probably could have prevented her death. All right, so then my father, I know he's not a very good cook. When she died, I thought his health is going to go downhill. And so I rang him up. I said, Dad, look, take these supplements, right? You need to get nutrition in your body. You need to start exercising. And he said, ah, oh, what do you know? You're just an electrician, and all you're trying to do is make money out of me. I said, how am I going to make money giving you the products? I was prepared to supply the products to him every month. Anyway, what's 10 years now, I ring him up. Back then he had high blood pressure. Now he's got arthritis, he's got diabetes, he had cancer in his eye, he's got only one eye now, he had lung cancer and it's removed. So cancer is a thing that you've got to address. You've got to build your immune system up, right? It's no good taking medication because, and not build your immune system up because it'll come up somewhere else in your body. All right, so... I just wanted to point out, so I've given you this information. This is what I'm passionate about. Good nutrition, you need to do a little bit of exercise. Right? I know a lot of personal trainers, and when I put them on the scanner, they scan really bad because they over-exercise. Exercise puts oxidative stress on your body. So if you're doing a lot of exercise, you need to be eating really well, high in nutrients. But these people tend to focus on protein, not a balanced diet. Right? So quality sleep is huge. That's when your body renews itself and detoxes, particularly between the hours of 6 p.m. and 4 a.m. So if you're not getting seven or eight hours between that time, your body is not, your cells aren't detoxing. And what happens over time, say five years, your, bo your, your body becomes very toxic and then disease starts coming in. All right? And the other thing is stress management. So a lot of people are coaches and they manage that stress level. So what, but what you need, you need to be doing that as well, but what you need to be doing is the top three as well. If you do the top three, you can handle stress a lot better. You can handle more stress, right? And back when I was working with Ergon Energy, things I used to remember saying is, sleep's overrated, I'll sleep when I'm dead, right? <laughs> I used to live on three or four hours sleep. So over time, it catches up with you. And I did, I had a couple of nervous breakdowns. But what I did, I removed the stress, right? The job that I was doing, like, oh, I won't go into it. <laughs> I was overworking, right? And the, the bosses love you because you work. I was on a salary, yeah, here, more, more jobs, more jobs, here. Get a promotion, right? And um, I yelled out for help, no, no, you're doing a great job. Pat on the back, right? It ended up depression. All right, so these are actually interesting. So if you Google top causes of death in Australia, you'll come up with a government website and it's got these tables. So I've been following it now probably for about six years. So you'll, if you look at it, you'll see the trends that's happening, right? And when you look at it, you'll see there's a lot of suicide and overdosing, car accidents up to 44, and then it does a switch to chronic disease. So that tells me that all the damage is being done in your 20s and 30s, right? And I've got a machine that I absolutely love. It's called a biphotonic scanner. So I'm like a screening person, right? Like I said, I've got no qualification, but I've got a lot of experience working for, with health and beauty professionals. And I'm like a screening person. I'd love you to come and chat with me, have a scan, and this is really good. I know straight away whether your lifestyle is a problem or you've got health issues. A good example is my hairdresser. Um, she had a rash on her hand, right? And, uh, and she said, oh, I, I won't be able to wash your hair. I'll get somebody else to wash it. I said, I've got a rash on my hand. I said, well, that's generally something to do with lack of nutrition. Oh, I've got a scanner in my car. Can I scan you? Have you got time? She said, yeah, yeah. So I scanned her, and she, she was about 18,000, right, on the score. And... The higher, the better. Right? 18,000, she was only young, so the chronic disease hasn't set in yet. But somebody around 18,000 has usually got health issues, really big health issues, when, if they get older. And so I scanned her, and she was 18,000, and I said, you need to change your lifestyle, eat better. And she said, I do all that. And I said, what do you eat? And she told me, and I said, okay, you're snacking on something. What? And she said, oh, yeah, we go and get wheat crisps from Coles, and we have a dip. 
I said, oh, you're intolerant to gluten. And she goes, oh, no, I don't think I love gluten. And I said, just do me a favour, don't take it for two weeks and I'll scan you again. I went back and scanned her, she was 54,000. So what the gluten was doing was causing inflammation in the stomach and stop her, absorb, her body absorbing the nutrients. So she was doing everything well except eating gluten. So things like that I can pick up and I refer them to naturopaths or uh, physiotherapists. So that's it. Thank you. Is there any questions of Lawrence? Can I just, can I just yes. add, um, doing my job, many people think that it's not going to happen to you. Um, the amount of people I see 